Good day. Welcome to King Williams Everything. Today I want to show you something I'm working on. Uh, this is actually for my uh, Miss Pac-Man cocktail table replica. Uh, not so much a replica, but more of a it'll be pretty close, but you know, modern stuff to it, like LCD and uh, some modern joysticks. Uh, I originally was going to use um, <clears throat> kind of like a like a Wicko type joystick. And it's like, you know, you know, I wanted more of a retro, but I didn't want just kind of like the red ball one. So I got this guy here, and these were a set. Um, I think they're ten dollars a piece. And what these do, um, it's um, basically kind of like a ball joystick, and it has LED in it, and it cycles colors. So it's kind of a color cycling LED uh, joystick. And uh, we'll open it up in a second, take a look at it. But as you can see, it's from Go. Dang, you know, Godang, well known for their quality electronics, so um, should be just wonderful. And it's user maybe E slash EPC, I don't know what that is. And more Go Dang, Chinese, ooh, Chinese something, price says don't eat it. And more Go Dang, and that's it. But uh, you kind of see from the picture what it does. So let's open this guy up and take a look and see what's inside it. And we're back. Magic, she's open. Uh, but this is the joystick here. Uh, it comes with a ball that's not attached. You attach it, screw it on. And that's basically it. It comes with two little pigtails. Uh, this guy, a little five pin connector, five wires. So I'm assuming each one of these wires goes to a switch. And maybe the brown, looks like the last one. The brown, <clears throat> maybe the ground. That's kind of what I'm, I suspect. But you can kind of see. Oh, and it comes with a little. Uh, for this, for the LED pigtail power for the LED, and um, so it comes with a little faceplate. And this is pretty short, so it's more like a, a, a Pac-Man, this Pac-Man type joystick. It's pretty light throw, um, clicky, but really light throw. And it's fairly short and stubby, so that's kind of more of a pac man -y one. But this one, I'm thinking you're going to have to mount this probably up, either recess it into the uh, the control panel, or use like a metal control panel and bolt it on, because it's got the kind of, kind of different mounting options. But I'm thinking this is probably for a metal control panel. That's kind of what I have for my cocktail table, so this is going to be fine, because it's, uh, you know, less than an eighth inch thick, so it's going to be pretty much all this will be sticking out. The thing that kind of baffled me is, if you look on the back here, or like on the side, there's two headers for pins and this little guy here for the LED power. But kind of if I look close at the circuit board, it looks like maybe uh, you plug this one of these in and then you can use the other one to like pass through. So maybe if you're doing, this is kind of what it kind of looks like from the circuit board because it's like pin one goes to pin one. You know, you can set this, um, this little plate here comes off and you can set it for an eight way or a four way or maybe just an up and down. <coughs> Depends on how you mount this. Something maybe like a Robotron or something like that. If you just want to up and down, left and right, you can use this header pin. Uh, just use one cable going to uh, your JAMA board, and then the other one going to the other joystick. So, you know, joystick one's up, down, joystick two's left, right, something like that. That's kind of what I think that's for. But it's kind of uh, okay quality. Uh, uh, like I said, this plate here is just lets you decide what you want to do eight way or. <coughs> Four-way, so you know you got some Pac-Man. You want a four-way? If that's all you got on your on your board, uh, you probably want just four-way. But some of my games going to do uh, eight-way, so that I'm going to leave it eight-way and deal with it. But um, what we'll do is we'll plug this in, turn off the lights, and see uh, how the LED works. Because, like I said, I think what it does, it just that you can't set it. There's some some of the joysticks where you can say, "Yeah, it's blue, it's red, it's green." Uh, this one um, looks like it just cycles through colors. There's no adjustments. It's just whatever colors they are. And whatever colors they are, I don't know. So let's plug it in. And I got a little power supply. I can't find my uh, arcade power supply, but I got a little power supply that has 12 volts. So we'll get this lit up. And we'll be back in a second. Okay, so I got Mr. Power. Bam. So we'll just kind of plug it the little wires in here just to hold together and see what she looks like and um, let's see <clears throat> Mr. Positive in the hole let's see. there we go oh huh. so 
that's kind of nice. You see the, the this has bubbles and it's hard to see on the camera, but uh, so it kind of reflects the light. But, hmm. Looks like it's pretty nice. I mean, it's kind of hard to catch the real color on the camera, but um, it's like red, green, bur blue, purple, yellow, red, green, cyan. I don't know, it looks like maybe it changes speed too. No, it's just in one speed. <coughs> but pretty nice effect. So I guess that's going to be kind of neat. Um, neat little joystick because it'll light up uh, the, the control panel a little bit and that's kind of what I want because on a cocktail table you know you're looking down into the monitor and you got you can kind of see through the glass and you can kind of see the joystick but you know if it's dark and that's why you look up some of the Pac-Man's Miss Pac-Man's there's like a plexiglass that has some light that sheds some light on the on the, on the control panel uh, this will I think I'm going to do this instead of that and use lighted buttons this I think it's a nicer effect but uh, anyway I think this is kind of cool it's bad you know you can't say I want only blue but, you know, the color cycling is kind of cool, too. So, anyway, that's the Godang. Godang. LED illuminated joystick. Get yourself one. Bam.